On the, on the left is the uh, is the congressman's office. Uh, the uh, first congressional district, uh, uh, Congressman Bobby Richardson's office. Uh, he moved his office here, and although we've had some issues with crime, he's committed to keeping his office here. And he's gotten involved in the situation and trying to see how we can make this uh, strip better. The Nation of Islam no longer seems to be as much of a force as it once was. It, no, I, no, not at all. Uh, all their properties are pretty much gone. Uh, but this area community, they own a number of properties in that community. <coughs> that uh, strange restaurant that they built uh, further west on 79th Street, that's that's all gone, right? They're, they're still, their built restaurant's still there. Well, we're, we're uh, what is empty. It? It's empty, yeah. Yeah, it's empty. Uh, there's a lot of legal issues going on with that. <laughs> Here's a great, Great terracotta facade oh, on this yeah. building that uh, really needs some cleaning and some restoration. Yeah, this was a but beautiful building. <laughs> you don't, uh, you don't see that kind of thing being built anymore. Oh no, not uh, this is one of our great buildings. Do you know, do you know what this was originally? It was uh, this was a this was an apartment building with storefronts. Now, also, okay. we had the bowling alley in here. They had a bowling alley in the basement. Where do you see this awning? Uh, there's a basement bowling alley at a 16 lane bowling alley in a year or so. There was, the buildings had a, a number of different kind of changes. You see a lot of the kind of uses you see all over Chicago cellular phone stores everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we have our shape cellular phone store. And we're back at Cottage Grove again, 79th of Cottage Grove. Now that, that strip is looking a lot better, I think, than it was the last time I was down here, Worley. Yeah, well, we did. This, this still needs a lot of work. Uh, this is the form old. This is this bank has gone. This Urban Partnership Bank has gone through a number of different iterations. Uh, this was formerly the Independence Bank of Chicago, which was another African American owned bank. It was started here in Chatham by mem uh, by members of the Chatham community. And in response to that, they felt that they were being discriminated with from other banks. Uh, back in the, early, the late 90s, it was purchased by uh, the South Shore Bank, uh, and unfortunately, last uh, last year, South Shore Bank was uh, seized by the, the uh, by the FDIC, and then uh, the management bought, bought out the bank, and then now changed to Urban Partnership Bank. And so, uh, we've been fortunate to keep the bank in the community, and. Uh, Looking forward to a lot of the great things that they're going to do. Uh, I think one of the big losses on the south side too was uh, Park National Bank. Yeah. Which had been a very positive force down here. There's one of the storefront churches. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Showing you some of the things that have been here for years and years and years. So you know we got you know there's work coming. Yeah, that the guy's that guy's been there for years and uh, yeah that's gone through different so many different owners. If you could live anywhere, would you live in Chatham? Oh yeah, I, 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 made, I made a conscious decision to come back here uh, when I met my wife. Uh, you know, she's from um, she's she, she's from Roseland, and uh, I made a conscious decision to come over here. She, she loved it because. She, it was just either, you know, our connections to transportation, we were both working down to happen at the time, so just coming out and catching the King Drive bus, and you're going to go straight down. So, how, long, how long a commute uh, to downtown? You can also ca catch the L, uh, right, you catch red, the L. red line up. Right. King, uh, taking the King Drive bus takes you about, about 45 minutes. It takes you about 45 minutes to get downtown on, in the morning on the, uh, they have the express bus.